Bring your lunch in the back. You got it all right. Exactly. It's a lot easier. What'd you think? Oh, it's great. I think it's, I think it's cool. Look how um, small these come, like, fold up, Michael, like right okay. here. They collapse down. Oh, wow. Where'd you go? Um, from here I went to uh, building 30, 31, 32, 36, 34, 35, 16, 17, 18, and back. And that all all from 121. Yes. Um, I, I much prefer this trailer to the back of this EV unit. Why is that? It's easier to access, it's easier to put your tools in. Here it's really not configured well, so it's kind of like difficult. This is really easy. Open it up. Everything's right in front of me. I feel very confident when they get the new East Campus done that those will come in really handy there right. because they're going to have up above ground level. Won't be any motor vehicles, but I'm sure they'll let these bicycles go up there. And the trailer and container system? I think the trailer and container system is fantastic. Yeah. And Glenn, you do facilities here, right? Correct. And how long have you been working here for? Uh, at Microsoft? 30 years. Been here a while. I was talking to Danny, I said, if we got a second one of these, drive your tools to wherever you need to go. If you need to go back and get parts, well, you drive back, grab the second container full of all your parts and material, and then take it with you, go back to where you're working. So I could see where this could come in real handy. You could even have preloaded containers in sections right. that you're doing work in, rather than, oh, I forgot that tool. Exactly. Okay. This is a tool bag. Uh -huh. This is a tool pouch. Over here, some parts that I need to pick up. There's my ladder. And this just isn't practical. See, this I can see hauling all of our tools. Not a problem. All the tools that I have in my full, I have a full size Chevy van, I can fit all the tools in this unit. My rotor hammers and my saws, all or my skill saw, or any of those other tools, 